guys, you're going to want to watch all the way to the end of this video because I'm going to show you something at the end of this video that I believe is the number one earning opportunity in 2025 using AI. Subscribe. Sub subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> right. Welcome to this two-part series where I'm going to be introducing a brand new concept to you, which is making websites programmatically. The first thing I want to say is there was a lot of pushback on the video that I did on Friday, mainly from people who are WordPress developers. If you actually look at some of the people that made negative comments on that video, they were WordPress developers. I can understand why you feel threatened, but I'm going to show you something today that's going to blow you away. Now, those negative comments actually led me to spend quite a lot of the weekend looking into this. To be honest with you, I probably would have looked into this anyway, just because it's so interesting. But one thing that it did was it pushed me to prove myself correct, which is exactly what I've done and exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, if you want to look at my screen right now, this is bolt.new. This is what I claimed to be the next kind of thing that would take over from WordPress. A lot of people had very negative things to say about that claim, but I'm going to show you what I did in this video. Now, this is the first video. I'm just going to give you an example that I made, and I'm going to give you other examples that I think could be made to make money. The second part of this video, which will probably be released tomorrow, will be how to actually do this process. So I'm not going to be showing you how to use bolt.new in this video. You can watch Friday's video for a little flavor of that. Tomorrow's video, I'm going to launch a website live in front of you that I believe will get traffic. So let's talk about the classic menswear chronicle. This is the first website that I have ever made that has no CMS. CMS being content management system. What is the most popular CMS in the world? WordPress. This is where my idea that this would replace WordPress actually came from. Again, to a lot of negativity of people saying that this would not replace WordPress. However, I made what is in front of you in three hours using only AI and obviously a little bit of kind of chat GPT to help me launch it. Um, but I did everything in sold inside bolt.new. Bolt.new wrote every single word that you can see on the screen. Now, the first thing I want to do just quickly before we get into this is I want to just do a speed test. I haven't actually done a speed test yet. I'm very, very curious to see what the speed is like on something like this. Now, I don't think it would be the best. Okay, no, it is the best. It's 89. That's very, very good. It's very quick. Obviously, there aren't many large images or anything like that. So I'm not, you know, I'm not saying this is completely crazy. However, 100 accessibility, 100 best practices, 82 SEO, and 89 speed, okay, for a website that I made in three hours using only AI. Now, you might say, Hamish, this is a useless case study. This is never going to rank on Google. Well, I think what I'm going to about to show you will actually prove you wrong. If I go on Ahrefs, and remember, I launched this on Friday, okay, the classic menswearchronicle.com, it already has three keywords on Ahrefs. This is impressive, and I have a theory that Google likes to rank websites that are made on something like Next.js better than things like WordPress because there is a barrier to entry, or there was before Bolt.new came along. There was a barrier to entry, like even me, and you know, I'm not a big coder or whatever, but I have done a lot of coding now and a lot of programming. I didn't know how to launch websites until Friday, okay? I literally started this project Friday night after I got all these negative comments, probably around 11 p.m., and I was up very, very late, and then Saturday morning, uh, probably two more hours on this, okay? And this is what we made. So if I just go on the sitemap, which yes, it has a sitemap, created, again, using bolt.new, okay? Everything, every single part of this was done with prompting, okay? We can see that there's actually 76 pages on this website. And again, you might think to yourselves that this is not gonna rank on Google. Well. All of these pages that I've checked, and we'll check a few now, are indexed. Every single one, which is completely crazy for a website that was released on Friday. All I did was submit the home page to Search Console. That's it. I didn't do anything else. Okay, So we can see there are a few different types of pages. I talk about this a lot. 
having different types of pages. So we've got a blog with about 10 to 15 pages. We have an events calendar, again, completely made by AI. So if I just go back on the website and open up the events calendar, again, this is not perfect, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't indexed. The images are bad, like some of them are broken, but remember, I haven't done any of this manually. All of this is completely AI generated. So let's just check. I don't think this will be indexed, but it might be. Okay, it's indexed, obviously. Uh, so we have the events calendar. Then we have a glossary, okay? The glossary has several terms. Now, I haven't checked if any of these are indexed yet, but let's see. Uh, so, you know, glossary, very, very easy to make. Let's see if this is indexed. Probably won't be. That's crazy. It's actually crazy. That page is indexed. I, you know, we, we have some clients where I'm struggling to get things indexed because we're using WordPress. Honestly, I think there's a huge difference between WordPress and Next.js for getting uh, indexed. I think this is Next.js, it's uh, Astro, which, yeah, we'll talk about that more in the video that's coming tomorrow, but um, let's just keep going for now. It's using Astro though, so on bold.new at the bottom here, you can just press start a blog with Astro. This is how I did it. I clicked that and then I guided it and I said, I want this, I want a sitemap, I want a glossary page with each page being a separate page. I want this, I want that. Let's just check a few more here, I'm just curious. It seems to me that this has basically 100% indexing though. Surely this isn't indexed. <laughs> Crazy, actually insane. Guys, this, honestly, the, 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 if you know anything about SEO, you'll know just how crazy this actually is. So we'll click on glossary here. This is what the glossary looks like. Again, completely AI generated. I could easily add more and more terms to this as well and get more and more traffic. We can actually just do a site search uh, for the glossary and you'll see there's a lot of index terms here. And at the bottom here, it says we have omitted some entries very similar to the 15 already displayed. There's actually more index pages than just the 15 that you see here. And then we have guides, okay? These are the pillar pages that I talk about every single time that we make a website. We'll click on guides. We have all of these guides here. We'll take one at random, dress shirt guide, copy link address, and we'll see if it's indexed. Not indexed, there we go, temporary processing error. So this is the first one that had a, it seems to have, oh. What? Did I not write it correctly? That's weird. Oh, with the, oh, it's got a slash on the end, that's why, obviously. So it's literally just, yeah, it, it is indexed, there just needs the slash on the end. Again, we'll do the same thing, this time we'll put guides. And you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Honestly, this is probably the fastest I've ever seen Google take to a website before. Better than WordPress, better than Shopify. This is actually really, really interesting. Um, and then the final thing that I decided to make, and by the way, everything I made, I didn't really think of the ideas. I used ChatGPT to, and also Bolt to come up with the ideas. Maybe the, you know, I gave it some starter saying like, I think, you know, some kind of calculator would work well or whatever it might be. But in general, I just let it do everything. So we'll see here, random one. It's indexed, and then we'll change this to, what is it, conversion sizing charts. Now the really cool thing is, oh, oh. The really cool thing is that we have much more control over the URL structure as well, which is much better for SEO. We have really, really good meta titles, we have good meta descriptions, and if I just open some of these, like, let's open this one, you'll see all it is is a very, very simple page with how to measure your chest at the bottom, and then a very, very simple conversion chart. I've seen these get huge amounts of traffic, okay? So what I can do is, after a month or so, let's say this is getting, just as a random number, a thousand clicks a month, I can then put ads on this website and start to make money from it. That's kind of the direction that I'm going with this. Now let's have a little look at the search console. So obviously we don't take, th th this data here is just me researching and then obviously, please, by the way, if you're watching this video, don't look for this website on Google, please. Please don't look for this website on Google. Don't ruin the case study. No, God, please, no, no, no! I had to make this video because I wanted to show people this, but if you can, just go directly to the website if you want to have a look at it. Please do not search on Google and don't do site uh, search operators and everything. Now, obviously some people will st still do that, but if you're watching up to this point and you can do me any favor, it's please don't search for this website in Google. Just find it uh, naturally or uh, just go to the domain, okay? I'll leave the domain in the description so people can 
just click it. If you wanna look at the website, please, please, please don't search on Google. No! Let's go on most recent date. These are actual keywords, okay, that this thing is already picking up on Search Console. 27 impressions on the uh, Saturday, I probably launched it about 5 p.m. Saturday, like that's when I did the sitemap and installed Search Console and everything, which I also did with AI, I installed Search Console with AI. Sunday, Monday morning, so this is just from Sunday, we're getting 27 impressions already. Now this will be skewed by the people that search for this website now on Google. I will try my best to, um, yeah, kind of filter that out when we talk about this website in the future. I'm also going to make more websites just as case studies because I'm, I'm obsessed with this now. Let's talk about some ideas that I have for you and also that I'm going to be repeating myself. Now, there's a couple of very, very, very interesting things that we can do with this. I've only put two ideas here, okay? Making websites like WebP to PNG and putting ads on it. So if you go to Ahrefs, let's say, Keyword Explorer, and we'll do WebP to PNG, for example, 181,000 people a month, just in the States, a million people a month search WebP to PNG, okay? Now you can see there are a lot of these already, but you can probably find something that is either less competitive or to be honest, I don't know how competitive these things are. If you just bought a domain that was just literally, you know, webp2png.com or .ai or something, I don't know. You could probably rank this pretty easily, to be honest with you. I'm probably gonna do exactly that. This is something that you can make with Bolt very, very easily, okay? Because it's just, there's not that much back end. Now, I personally, Bolt is much better for me, a front end. The back end stuff, it's a little bit iffy because you have, I don't know how to run it properly inside Bolt yet. It doesn't seem to have that um, functionality, even though they claim it does. I haven't actually managed to get it to run both servers at the same time and test something using the front end and back end. Maybe I'm using it wrong, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm struggling with that at the moment. Now, I'm probably going to fix that at some point very, very soon. I'm really, really getting into this stuff now, launching your own websites on Next.js, etc. Now, the second one is make programmatic SEO websites that use AI and APIs in order to bring high amounts of traffic. Now, this is, not, this is something I didn't understand until yesterday. Literally, last night at 9 p.m., I suddenly understood how programmatic websites work. What they do is they connect an API to like a page generating system like, um, what's it called, Astro. So I'm not 100% sure how this works with Astro yet, I'm still looking into this, but basically they receive the JSON response in the API, they generate a page based on the, um, based on inputs gathered from the JSON response. You can add your own part to this using Claude prompts to make unique content. So one thing that I would say is a lot, one of the problems with this is like a lot of people have already done this. So if you just do the same thing that everyone else is doing, you might not necessarily rank, but something that probably not that many people are doing is during this process when you receive like, I don't know, so I'll, I'll give you an example that I've been looking at just so that we can kind of visualize this quickly. So if you just go on Google and type anything, like camping API, for example, and I found this last night, Camp Flare public API, integrate availab availability alerts and outdoor data into your application for free. What the hell does that mean? That means that you can basically ask, for example, like um, give me some information about Yellowstone Park in America, right, to this API. The API will send you a response back saying, um, they have this many uh, beds open at this time. Um, it's raining or it's rainy season. Um, you know, here's some reviews and here's a description of Yellowstone National Park. What you can then do is you can take that response and automatically populate a pre-designed template using something like Astro. Now, I'm not 100% sure how like Astro fits into this, whether you need Python, I'm still looking into these things. But as far as I know in, in my head, the way I'm viewing it is that you build a template for a page using Astro and you say like, pay, uh, 
campsite description equals, and then the JSON response, the, the variable from the JSON response, if that makes sense. So like, let's say you say, when you receive um, campsite description, populate automatically this tag. Um, tag equals, and th this isn't actual real code, but I'm just kind of explaining it to people. Campsite uh, description, right? And then you put that tag where you want it to be on the page. So you have tag equals campsite title, and then tag equals campsite description, and then tag equals campsite photos, and tag equals campsite reviews. This is how this actually works. I didn't realize this, and I'm getting really, really excited and passionate about this now because I, I'm excited to do this. But this is how programmatic SEO actually works. You just receive a JSON response and populate a page. And you can do that with Bolt, which is why it's so interesting to me because you can do all of this now with Bolt. And yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. It's a bit of an abrupt ending there for such an interesting video. I didn't want this to get too programmy, but again, I'm not actually programming, I'm not actually coding, I'm prompting Bolt. Now, one thing I'll say about Bolt is just be very, very careful because it sometimes deletes code that you believed was already established. Now, I'm working on a workflow to get Bolt to not do that because it's, it's quite annoying. Like yesterday, it kept removing the sitemap code so the site, there was no sitemap on uh, Classic Menswear Chronicle and you know sometimes it deleted the sizing charts uh, index page, which is this page here, and there's just a few other things. However, overall, the fact that I did this in two hours with zero experience and launched it to a real domain in, un in probably two or three hours is completely nuts, okay? So I had to share this with you. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you one of these examples. I might just make a blog, but if I'm feeling up to it, I might do something a little bit more complicated if I can work it out tonight, doing some kind of programmatic SEO play. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you're interested about a new link building AI assistant.